Because when you flip that switch from this is why I'm not succeeding to this is how I'm going to succeed, then all that's left. What's going on, my brothers? Today's video is about the story that we tell ourselves that justifies why we aren't where we want to be. And this story is something that nearly everybody has. It's almost like a rehearsed script of why they haven't made it, why they haven't achieved what they want to achieve. And it's almost sickening when you realize that you've had one of these. I mean, we all have. At some point in our lives, we've had to explain to someone why something didn't work out the way we wanted to. The real danger of this is that you can get attached to this story and you can start to believe it. And even worse than that, you can apply it to other areas of your life. It almost seeps into this victimhood mindset. This story that everyone has can be, you know, this bad thing happened to me. This thing happened that was out of my control. You know, I got unlucky. I should have done this, but then this happened. And if you have the self-awareness to realize that you're doing this, it can be a bit alarming because then you start to think, well, fuck, how many times have I said this? How many times have I reverted back to this story to disassociate me from the successes that I want to have? And it's funny because this story is like our admittance that we aren't going to succeed. So you have to kill this story inside of you. Stop saying it. Stop thinking it. Fully remove that story's power over you. I'll give you an example. Growing up, I played football. And in football, a lot of guys, ex-teammates, friends, people involved in the sport would always have this story of, I could have played for this professional team, but. And then they would say some story about how something happened. It was out of their control, conveniently, etc., etc., etc. And that's fine. It could have been out of the control. Control. It could have been something that actually happened and it could have been something that honestly affected their end result. I'm not saying it didn't happen. What I am saying is they chose to give that power over them. And if you give power to external circumstances, then you become their bitch. You're basically admitting that you have no control over your life and that you're just aimlessly floating through. And life is going to decide what happens to you rather than you deciding what happens to your life. And if you carry on this mindset, you won't decide where your future is. External circumstances will decide for you. So what is the actionable step with this today? You have to find that story you tell yourself. Find that part of you that's still attached to those external circumstances and kill it. Even if somebody asks you, why didn't this thing work out? You should be able to frame it in a way that says, I learned from this and this is where I'm heading now. Or I don't regret anything because it turned me into the person I am. And if you frame it like this, immediately the power comes back to you. You're deciding where your life is heading. And even if you're watching this video and you can't think of times where you've told this story as to why you haven't done X, Y, Z, I guarantee you the next time you start telling it, you'll realize there and then. This is what many was talking about. I'm reinforcing the story where I tell myself why I won't achieve what I want. So if you can flip this switch and turn the story of why you won't achieve what you want or why you haven't achieved what you want into a story about why you will or better yet, how you will. So then you have actionable steps, then you'll be a lot better off in my opinion. Because when you flip that switch from this is why I'm not succeeding to this is how I'm going to succeed, then all that's left is taking action. And it even reminds me of something that one of my favorite men's content creators, Bedros Koulian, says on his show is that that we all have that inner critic, that voice inside that reminds ourselves of our past failures. You should flip that and turn it into your inner advocate. Remind yourself of why you will succeed. Remind yourself of why you have succeeded in the past. Build yourself up because we know that society isn't gonna build you up. It's gonna do the opposite. Which leads me to the end of the video. In summary, get rid of the story that you tell yourself and others as to why you haven't achieved certain things in the past. Flip the switch and ignore your inner critic and turn it into your inner advocate. Thank you guys. In a world that tries to tear men down, I'm here to build them back up. Thank you and I'll catch you in the next one.